Hey, this is Riley, and I'm going to be showing you how to make my buttonless door. So this door works with pufferfish, and it uses pufferfish placed in between this block and the ground, and this block and the ground, and they detect when the player comes close, and they open the door. So it works like this. And then after a while, it's just going to close behind me. So this is really cool if you're doing like futuristic doors, or just like some cool doors put in your base, I don't know. So the materials you're going to need to build this are in this chest. So you're going to need four Steve Hissons. You're going to need two redstone dust. You're going to need two redstone torches. You're going to need two buckets of puffer fish. You're going to need two oak wood fences, or any fence to be honest. And you're going to need two pressure plates. This could be any pressure plate. And some building blocks, just for fun. So let me show you how to do this. So you're going to start out with your two blocks that you want to have the door base on. Then you dig down to it, right? On both sides. From that, you want to place fences. You want to place your puffer fish inside of those. Then you want to put your pressure plates on top. Dig up those two blocks. Put down two redstone. Place two torches. And now you're going to want to place a block on top of each of these torches. Now you want to place two pistons. And now you want to place blocks on these pistons. And that should be it. So now what you want to do is you want to go back to survival. You'll probably be in survival if you're making this. And you got to make sure the pufferfish inflate. Because they are not in the contraption properly. So if they inflate and then deflate. You can be set and ready to go. You'll know when it's ready to go when it closes for the first time. So now I can just walk up to it and it works. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.